Defence for Children International, please. President, at the end of June, 151 Palestinian children were detained in Israeli prisons and detention centres, an increase of 6% from May. Data from a headcount on June 30th shows that 48% of Palestinian child detainees were held in pre-child detention. Israeli authorities held at least 120 Palestinian children, more than 79% of Palestinian child detainees at prisons and detention centres inside Israel, which amounts to unlawful transfer in violation of the Fourth Geneva Convention. In late July, a Palestinian child prisoner detained by Israeli forces during a night raid on his home tested positive for COVID-19. Israeli authorities repeatedly extended the boy's detention because he could not be interrogated due to the coronavirus. He was held in detention for 40 days before Israeli authorities finally released him on bail on September 1st. Palestinian children imprisoned by Israeli authorities live in close proximity to each other, often in compromised sanitary conditions with limited access to resources to maintain minimum hygiene routines. While international law demands that children only be detained as a measure of last resort, custodial pre-child detention is the norm for Palestinian children detained by Israeli forces from the occupied West Bank, even while facing an unprecedented global health pandemic. We strongly urge all member states to demand that Israeli authorities immediately end detention and prosecution of Palestinian children in the Israeli military court system and call for the release of all Palestinian children currently detained in Israeli prisons and detention centres. I thank you. Muchas gracias. Thank you.